Hello, my dear friends. You are welcome to Jonathan Online Class. In this video, we are going to solve this problem on the board. This is mathematics, of course. By the nature of the question on the board, it is a quadratic equation. Now, let's look at the task and solve it. Given that p is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2, at the same time, q is equal to 2x minus 1, and also that q minus p gives us 2, then we are asked to find x. Wow! I know this seems to be difficult, but it is just technical, though an easy task. Now follow me and see how we are going to solve the task without stress. Looking at this, the first thing we are going to do here is to do evaluate this um, equation that to substitute accordingly and the minus q minus p is equal to 2 first. Our q is this. So we substitute. That will be 2x minus 1 minus bracket open. This is our p. x squared plus 4x minus 2 bracket close all is equal to 2 according to this equation this is what we have just done now we simplify this that will be 2x minus 1 open bracket minus times x squared half minus x squared minus times plus here half minus then 4x minus times minus here half plus 2 all is equal to 2 here Good. The next thing we are going to do now is to simplify further by collecting like terms. By doing so, we have that, or simple, let us now bring this to this side. Because we are going to form quadratic equation. And for a typical quadratic equation, it will be equated to what? Zero. So equating it to zero, we have 2x minus 1 minus x squared minus 4x plus 2. This 2 comes over here because minus 2. So that all will be equal to 0. A typical quadratic word. Equation. Then we'll simplify further. When we have like terms here, we have 2x we have here 2x then let me collect the brother here. That will be what? Minus 4x then we have here minus x squared. They have minus 1 here. Minus 1. Then these 2 minus 2 is of course 0. So we are done with this. 2 minus 2 is 0. So leaving us with uh, all this is equal to what? 0. Because 2 minus 2 is 0. So at this point, 2x minus 4x is minus 2x. So what we are left with here, we have minus here we have minus 2x because 4 is greater than 2 now you pay 2 you are owing 2 minus x squared minus 1 is equal to 0 now you can see that all these variables have even with the constant have negative signs so we can transform it into positive by doing what you can now multiply all by minus 1 to make all of them what Positive since all of them are minus now minus one times this minus times minus is plus Therefore it will become It will now become x squared Then times this one minus times this one have also plus 2x Then I'm rearranging Minus I multiply want to multiply all by minus one or divide all by minus one so that you change this narrative negative to what positive expression without changing the value of the word variables because you treated all of them alike so minus 1 times this minus we give you plus minus 1 times this one we give you plus as well plus 2 minus 1 times minus 1 we give you plus 1 and the minus 1 times 0 is still what 0 so you see how it has transformed so at this point now we factorize we factorize Factorizing this, we have x squared plus x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. How? x squared times 1 gives you x squared. 
We now look for two factors that when you multiply them, you get x squared, and when you add them, you get 2x, the middle expression. And that's that, the middle term. And that is x and x. Because x times x will give us x squared, which is the product. Then x plus x will give us 2x, which is the sum. Then the condition is met. We continue. Factorizing by part, we have here x bracket x plus 1. Because x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x. Come to this side, we have plus 1 bracket x plus 1. All equal to 0. How? 1 times x is x, 1 times 1 is 1. Then, having this, we now bring these ones inside outside bracket, put them in one bracket, and that will give us x plus 1. Then these two factors that are similar, when you factorize it correctly, the two factors here will be similar. So, into, you take one of them, x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is what we have. Very simple now, we take it one after the other. That implies that x plus 1 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 is equal to 0, which is the same thing. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 